I'll chill. I'm here. It's 7.29. The review time is 7.30. So I am not late. Trying to, try to make me feel guilty for something I haven't even done wrong. <clears throat> Alright, we'll give everybody else like one more minute and see if anybody else is going to show up and then we'll get started. Hey Jada. Hey, Dominic. Hi, Kansas. Tell your mom I said hi, Kansas. All right, they had their minute. Hey, Nisa. So, some of this will look familiar, hopefully, from when we did our notes. I think you guys are starting to get it. I think doing more practice this time around, a little bit less thinking, like an analysis, I should say, more of just practicing which one does which. It helps you all a little bit remember them. Uh, so, first, the document you're always supposed to guess from here on out to the end of time, Constitution. Constitution tells us what we can and cannot do with our government. This, don't worry about it. There's a reason I didn't cover it, because we're going to talk about, this is what federalism is right here. I know it's in your notes. By the way, if you didn't do your homework, <clears throat> parents, they had homework uh, of your study guide. Uh, these are the answers. So I'm basically going over it with you. Um, anyways, um, this is federalism, not going to be on the test. You got another three branches, legislative, executive, judicial. So let's break them each down. So first one is legislative. You gotta know this word bicameral. What's what's that bicameral word mean? Can anybody tell me? What does bicameral mean? Two houses. Very good. So we have our bicameral leg legislature, just meaning we have two houses. Two houses are House of Reps and the Senate. Senate has 100 per members, two per state. House of Reps is based on population. I'm really not too worried about that with you guys. Um, their main job is they make the laws. They are the approver. Look, approves, confirms, uh, regulates. There's another one where I think it says ratifies over here on the checks and balances. They're always like the double checker. They are the approver. Like they're all synonyms, okay? So they approve the annual budget. Annual meaning yearly, one year. So we do it every year. We have to do a budget. Uh, they approve or confirm presidential appointments. Remember that appointments just is a fancy way of saying select. I don't know who Sitios is, but hey, Veronica. Um, so appointments would be not like a doctor's appointment, but I want... Uh, Veronica to be my Secretary of State. So I am selecting her to be that position. Well, before she gets the job, Congress has to approve her. We just had uh, Judge Kavanaugh, who had to go through the, he was appointed by Donald Trump, and then he had to be approved by Congress. Congress, that you know, that's when you saw on TV, they were like grilling him with questions. That was the confirmation process. They were confirming him. He was an appointment by Donald Trump, and they were confirming him. Hey, Jacob. Um... Raises revenue through taxes and levy. This is a fancy way of saying they control the money. Uh, remember what I told you? They control taxes. So whenever taxes go up, it's Congress's fault. Whenever taxes goes down, it's Congress's. Good job. Okay, so they're the ones that do taxes. Um, yes, the president can have an impact on that and how much he wants to carry it out and push against it. But they're the ones who control the money. Uh, levies is just a fancy way of saying taxes, in case you're wondering. Um Revenue is like the money they take in. So, uh, regulates interstate and foreign trade. So they are in control of trade. So they're the ones who are going to be doing like uh, uh, 
regulates fancy voice and control. They're the ones controlling the trade between uh, like Virginia and Maryland. Like they're overseeing it. Like Virginia and Maryland can trade without Congress necessarily doing anything, but they provide rules that they have to follow. Uh, they're also the ones monitoring trade between us and other countries. Again, presidents have kind of started to put their foot more in this one, but according to our constitution, they're the ones who control trade. And they have the power to declare war. So remember the last time we officially went to war was World War II. Everything else since then has been a police action. Executive branch. Executive branch is our uh, president. Um, so there you go. President and vice president. Executes the law. Does anybody remember the other words it might use other than executes? What, what might it say other than execute? There's two other ways it could come out. Enforce. Very good, Dominique. There's one more. Enforce and what? Started with a C. It was two words. Carries out. Very, very good, Elizabeth. So... Uh, they all mean the same thing. They're basically making sure the laws are being followed, making sure the, the rules are actually being put in place and being followed by everybody. Carry out, yep. They prepare the budget. So again, they pre prepare the annual. Annual meaning we do it once a year. Budget. So it says for congressional action. So Congress, it's already telling you, they have to confirm it. They prepare it. Congress confirms it. They appoint. They select cabinet officers. They select ambassadors. They appoint federal judges. Select, appoint. Same thing. So a lot of times what happens is just, that's why we hammer vocab so much, is people just see this word and they blank on what it means. Point just is a fancy way of saying selected by the president in this case. Um, overseas executive agencies, departments, that just means he's in charge of things like the FCDC, CIA, FBI, all those agencies that help make our country work. He's technically in charge of them. Um, yeah, and it just means that because it's just a big job, he couldn't do it by himself. Doesn't matter uh, the greatest president ever, the worst president ever. You you need help, so these what that's what the agencies do. Um, so then we have the judicial branch. Uh, I'm actually going to skip down to this bullet because this is the main job right here: interpretation of the constitution, or interpretation of the law. That is their main job. So we have with Congress, we have make. Exec executive, we have enforce or execute, or carry out, and judicial way of interpret. And that means to basically understand what what does this document actually mean that we can and cannot do. The highest court is the Supreme Court. They get to be in charge forever. Uh, no, I mean they serve for life. Uh, and their one power is judicial review. Uh, and that is their ability to either rule a bill, or uh, I should say a law, because it has to be a law first, a law unconstitutional or an executive action unconstitutional. So, like, if they made a law saying that all puppies must be shaved hairless, well, if Congress did that, the court could say, uh, that's, that's weird, creepy, and, uh, yeah, we're not going to be that country that makes all our pets hairless. So we're going to say that's unconstitutional. And they could say no, and basically it doesn't get to happen. So all of this stuff that I've talked about so far is separation of powers. Just the fact that we have three different branches, separation of powers. Now we're going to get into checks and balances. All right. So you this should look familiar. You should have it down in your notes, the triangle. And really what you just got to pay attention to is a lot of these questions are going to be, well, if such and such branch does this, how would such and such branch react? That's all you got to really pay attention to. I cannot tell you how many times it'll say something like, um, the president did something. Well, what, how can he be stopped? And then somebody says, well, he can, he can be vetoed. How, why would the president veto himself? So little things like that, um, just pay attention to. All right, so let's scroll down. So separation of powers, again. Uh, there's the articles. I told you have to know them. So goes in order. Article one, legislative. Article two, executive. Article three, judicial. 
one, legislative, two, executive, three, judicial. Okay? Um, we have three branches that are separate because we were so scared of any one branch getting too much power. Thus, the separation. I'm going to look and see how many questions are actually on this test. Then we have checks and balances. So the fact that they're all separate, separation of powers, get it? Separate, separation of powers. When they actually mess with each other and basically like saying like, I want to have infinite power. And the other one slaps them on the wrist and goes, no, no, stay in your corner. That's checks and balances. When they're basically stopping each other and basically preventing one from getting too much power, they're, they're checking them. They're keeping them in balance, checks and balance. So um, I'll go through it here, and then I'll probably go back up to the picture in a second, okay? So we have legislative branch. Uh, the Congress can check the president. So this is how he can check executive, or Congress can check executive. They can override a veto. So veto, remember, is that word that says, you know, where the president saying, nah, I'm going to deny you. I'm going to reject whatever you're doing. They can say, um, we think this is actually really important, and if two-thirds of them agree, they can say, <laughs> that's a nice, that's cute that you vetoed. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and do it anyways. So they can override it and say, we're, we're good. We're going to keep doing it. They can impeach. Impeach is just a fancy way of saying remove. Uh, so they can say, hey, you did something illegal. We're going to basically fire you. We're going to remove you from office. They are the approvers. We already talked about that. It may not seem like a big deal, but they're the ones that have to have agreed to that budget that the president proposes. If they don't agree, that budget doesn't get passed, which prevents the president from putting in things that maybe a lot of people think are not good spending. It prevents it from being in the decisions of one person. They also have to confirm the presidential appointments to make sure that people are, that deserve these jobs are being put in these jobs, not just president buddies. The Congress checks the courts when they uh, confirm a judge. So while the president can say, hey, I like this guy, we're going to make him a judge or her a judge. Uh, Congress still has to say, okay, we're good with that. They basically have to say, yes, this person deserves it. And if a judge starts doing things that maybe isn't all the way like right, and maybe they're starting, to, you know, being shady, they can impeach them as well and remove them from being in the Supreme Court. Executive branch, all right. Uh, that's what uh, that's, that's what we're talking about. Present. So this one is a little misleading. Remember what I told you. Uh, let's see if anybody remembers. When's the one time, this is only one time a year, the president can propose legislation. Otherwise, never consider, whenever you think of making, think of legislative. But this one time the president can do it. When is that? And again, parents, I'm going to make them watch this when it comes around. Because they should do it. It'll, it will be homework. In case any parents are watching. Union address thingy. That was a very informative answer. Yes, it's the State of the Union address. And it happened in January. Uh, that's where the president talks about what happened this past year and happens in uh, in the future. You uh, Is there going to be two tests? Yes, Veronica. Um, so that's where the president is basically talking about what's going on in the country and what the president wants to have accomplished. Um, whether you agree or not with the president, you, you kind of need to know it. And in case you were wondering, remember how I told you it's going to be on a future test? Look at what's coming next. This is coming down the pipeway. Look what's in bold letters. Yes, it is. You're going to have to know it. Yes, you are. So, anyways, back to what the executive can do. Um, so the executive is also the one who prepares the budget. So they got to basically put the numbers on a spreadsheet and say, here's what I want. So that gets the thing started. Um, they can call a special session of Congress. I didn't spend a ton of time on this. Um, essentially, let's say Congress is getting ready to go on vacation. And, and the government's getting ready to shut down. And Congress is like, ah, not my problem. I'm going on vacation. Hey, what's up, Bahamas? President go, <laughs> no, no, get your butt back to work. He can say, I need you here. And then they have to come back to work. So it'd be like making me work on a weekend. I ain't going to be happy, but I have to do it. Like technically if my boss like suddenly said, hey, we're having school on a weekend, which would be weird. Um, and the biggest one is they can veto legislation, meaning it's legislation is just a fancy way of saying a bill or a law. The president can just say to Congress, I don't like this law. 
I'm going to veto it. I can't do it. So how can he check the courts? Well, he's the one who has to pick the judges. So you can't get on the you can't be on the Supreme Court until he picks you. Uh, and he could grant a pardon. So that's the get out of jail free card. So this doesn't necessarily affect the Supreme Court exactly, but if it's a lower federal court, maybe um, they could ex you know he could excuse you for a crime. A lot of presidents do this when they're basically not able to run anymore or they didn't win the election and they basically know they're leaving office. So like the last couple of days, right before they're done, they'll go like, they'll kick out people that they thought was like, okay, I can't kick you, I can't let you out of prison yet because if I do, people are gonna like get mad at me. Um, but I'm gonna let you out now that since I'm losing my power, almost every president's done it. Uh, you know, and it's up to you. You can make your own judgments on whether or not it was okay. Um, I'll let y'all look that up another time. But anyways, I don't think this one's going to be on the test. I'm not going to really ask about that. Supreme Court has one power, judicial review. They tell Congress, hey, we don't like that law. It's unconstitutional. They don't like what the president did. We don't like that action. It's unconstitutional. And to be clear, we are talking about national government the whole time here. No state government's come into play yet. We are going to be doing state government. In case you're wondering, look, 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 see, state government. <laughs> you guys got to know all that. Have fun with that stuff. Um, but for now, um, we're only talking about the national government. So if you pick state government tomorrow, you're basically saying like, ooh, ooh, Mr. Wood, mark me wrong for this one. Okay? So only national government. Um, again, I'm going to leave it right there on this little thing. This is what we did in class. So legislative can do, see how the arrow is pointing to executive? This is what legislative can do to executive. In case you were having trouble un, uh, uh, understanding this. This is not fun to learn. I'm having fun. <laughs> Giving y'all a hard time. <laughs> Got dad jokes for days. Not even a dad. All right. There's a lot of multiple select questions on the first test, since you guys were asking. There's 11 questions on the second test. There is 10 questions, so a total of 21 tomorrow. Um, there's, a, like I said, a lot of multiple select. I do tell you how many to pick, okay? So every single question, I always tell you how many to pick. It's not like you have to guess. Please, please, let's be good counters. You know, this drives me up the wall when y'all do it. Um, anyways, uh, and ask questions if you don't understand. Let's see what this one. I'm looking to see. All right, let's do some review questions. Uh, what's the document that does all this? That tells us everything. Which one of these documents? Y'all better get this. Do I want to sneak you some answers? No. So I do have the test in front of me. Are there any graphs? And the answer is Constitution. Good job, Elizabeth. No, but there's some reading questions. And there's like some things where you gotta like drop them in a box. We went, we went all technical for you guys. I know you guys love techie questions. All right, so we got that one. Let's keep going. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. All right, go ahead and do three and four, and then I'll scroll down. Do questions three and four.
All right. So the first one, separation of powers. Very good job. <clears throat> and then the second one, for passing laws and approving budgets, it is legislative. Legislative. So, let's keep going. All right. Which branch of government is responsible for executing laws? Let's do five. I want to do five, five, six, five through eight. Do these four. Who is Cito Spanilla? I don't know that one. All right, number five, executing laws, preparing the budget, and appointing people as executive, interpreting the laws, and holding trials, judicial, pretty simple. Which branch of national government is U.S. Congress? Congress is legislative. And number eight, what branch of national government is probably have executive? Good job, Dominique. Dominique, Dom is dropping knowledge bombs. What, what? Oh, it's Abraham. Ah. What jobs presidents to prepare the what type of budget? Let's do 9, 10, 11. Let's go and finish that one. Who's union address? What? I have no clue why you wrote that. All right. Number nine. What's the job's president to prepare the annual? Budget, which means yearly, annual, yearly. So your court is in which court of the branch of the national government is judicial. So don't get surprised if you see the words United States in front of this. Okay. The only court we've talked about so far is United States Supreme Court. Courts will be hard, but right now there's only one court, which could be any type of answer. So if you put anything else, you're just guessing and not paying attention. The only court is United States Supreme Court. And then number 11, as many important cases has the power of judicial review, this means the Supreme Court has the power to declare a law unconstitutional. Very good, very good. Let's get that one. All right. I feel like we did this in the notes. I'm not going to make you do 13, 14, 15. Um, no, but you should know it. Just go back to the triangle thing that we showed you in the notes, okay? So, like, if you don't, if you don't know 13, 14, 15, this right here, this is your friend, okay? So, I'm not going to spend time doing that again, like, just having you list them. All right, so let's just finish off with 16, 17, and 18.
All right, so Kenza trying to just solve it all here. So Kenza um, did a did a. I'm kind of glad the way she answered the way she did. She put the word a point. Now, to be honest, a point is the best word for this. But look at the answer choices. There, there is no point there. So you got to go to what's the next best word? Well, nominate. Remove and impeach are basically the same thing. And we're talking about selecting someone, which would nominate would be the next closest answer. Um, so then we have just wrench has the power to blank a law and it's declare a constitutional. I think you guys got that one from that now. What power does just branch over actions of the president and the executive branch? Uh, and the answer is going to be judicial review. J -j 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 judicial review. All right. Um, some last heeds of warning. Um, uh, honestly, there's for each test, there's probably about two questions on each one that are relatively difficult, in my opinion. Um, I think you should be fine. I think that I give you answers. Like, if you actually utilize your tests, like, because remember, on my SOL, you can go backwards and forwards. You can't do that on math. But on mine, you can't. Just like right now, with the testing program we use, you guys can go backwards and forwards. Sometimes, if you read a question, it might help you with another question. I would utilize that strategy. And, um, I mean, I've given you some pretty good hints today. There's, there's, there's some tough ones. Oh, I will give you that. Uh, there's probably about one or two per each test that are tough. Otherwise, you guys should be good to go. Oh, Ved made it. Oh, what's up, Adris? For you, will it be hard? If you normally get an A, you have a good shot of getting an A. However, you also have a good shot of getting a B. They don't foresee drastic drops to like a C or a D. I don't think it's that hard of a test, but I would not say 100% is a guarantee. That's it. That's all. You are free to go if you would like. <sighs> Can I get a good grade? Sure. I'm sure you will. Who, uh, fine, who did I not make bets with last time? No, Dom, you've already won yours. I, I ain't going to forget that. Um, alright, alright, alright. I will do Abraham, Elizabeth. Y'all got to get double hundreds. There's, there is no 90 here. And who else will be the last one? Uh, I'll pick someone else tomorrow. I won't do them all from the stream. So. All right. All right, guys. You guys got any other questions for me? Yeah, good luck. I have no clue what you're talking about, Abraham. None whatsoever. You're not going to fail, Kenza. You're not going to fail either, Ethel. The president can propose a law once a year, Dominique, during the State of the Union address. For, for purposes, I don't want you getting that in your head. When it comes to making a law, like 
talking about law, creating one, all that kind of stuff, think of legislative, think of Congress. Literally what we're doing next, like after on, on Friday, lawmaking process. Okay? So it is all Congress. That's I don't want you getting confused. See, national laws are made by Congress. So we're going to get there. Okay? Tell your sis I said hi to Jacob. I, I don't know what you guys are talking about for the clue. I have no clue. No no earthly idea. Anything else before I get off? I gave out clues earlier today. You guys got to cooperate each, with each other. I already gave out two clues today. Yeah, uh, Sebastian got him. That's, that's Sebastian. There's no witchcraft. Yeah, you can ask me next year. I have no problem telling you when I'm no longer your teacher. But you're not allowed to tell my current students ever. Who is... Oh, it's Raiden. Hi, Raiden. Any other questions for me before I go? You guys, you guys are free to go, by the way. The review part is done. Alan shows up when it's done. So if you didn't see it, when I turn the stream off, when I hit when I hit the stop button, it'll take like a minute or two, and then it'll post it as a video, and you can watch it and skip around to what you need to. Have fun with my teacher stuff, like going to bed. You don't need to study till you fall asleep. All right, guys. You have a good night.